Hello, welcome to Home School this year, Class 10 Mathematics NCRT or CBSE Board. We are in our Chapter 10 Quadratic Equations, last session. And this is your exercise 10.4, third problem. Is it possible to design a rectangular mango groove whose length is twice its breadth and the area is 800 meter square? If so, find its length and breadth. What is a mango grow children? It is a group of plants which is arranged in the shape of a rectangle. So let us draw a rectangle here. We are talking about a rectangle shape. Length and this is breadth. Is it possible to design a rectangular groove whose length is? What is length it says? Length is twice its breadth. By the way, what is breadth? We don't know breadth. So, let us assume breadth is equal to x. Then, length is twice. Twice its breadth means 2x. And the area, area is 800 meter square. Understand the problem carefully. Suppose, let us imagine, okay, this is all the mango grooves which are arranged in the shape of a rectangle, whereas breadth is assumed as x and length is twice the breadth. Area, area of a rectangle, what is area of a rectangle formula? Length into breadth. Its value is 800 meter square. We need to find the length and breadth. Solution, let us assume breadth of a assume breadth of a mango groove rectangular mango groove is equal to x and next we talk about length length is equal to twice the breadth twice the breadth means 2x area of a rectangle Area of a rectangle is equal to 800 meter square. What is area of a rectangle formula? Length into breadth is equal to 800. What is length? 2x and breadth is x. 2x into x it will be 2x square is equal to 800. This multiple 2 is under the side divide x square is equal to 800 by 2. 400 if you cancel. x square is equal to 400. x is equal to square root of 400. If you want, you can write here plus or minus. 400 is a perfect square. What you are going to get? 20. x is equal to plus or minus 20. Whereas, we can say length or a breadth can never be negative. What are the two roots we got here? Plus 20 or minus 20? Breadth cannot be negative. So, we will skip minus 20. And we take breadth is equal to x is equal to 20. Length is equal to twice of its breadth. That is 2x is equal to 2 into 20 is equal to 40. So, what is a unit given here? Meters. Breadth of the rectangular mango groove is 20 meters and length of the rectangular mango groove is 40 meters. Let's see the fourth problem. Is the following situation possible? Is it possible or not possible? If so, determine their present ages. We are talking about the age. The sum of the ages of two friends is 20 years. How many friends there? There are two friends and the sum of their ages is 20 years. Four years ago. Four years ago means back. The product of their ages in years was 48. Product of their ages 4 years ago is equal to 48. So, do you know any friend age? Don't know. Sum of two friends ages 20 years we know. 
Let us start our solution with assuming any one friend first. Let the present age of first friend be x years. And what did we give? Sum of ages of two friends is equal to 20 years. Look here, first friend age plus second friend age is equal to 20. First friend age, if I assume x, then this is just not uh, two children. Second friend, you understand here, is equal to 20. What is second friend age now? 20 minus x. In this way, we need to understand carefully. Present age of second friend is equal to 20 minus x years. Next step, 4 years ago. 4 years ago means both the friends ages will be reduced by 4. Age of first friend, what is the present age? x. 4 years ago minus 4. And second friend age is 20 minus x. 4 years ago minus 4. 20 minus 4 will be 16, 16 minus x. 4 years ago, first friend age is x minus 4 and second friend age is 16 minus x. Last statement, product of their ages 4 years ago was 48 years. Product, so what product we need to take? x minus 4 into 16 minus x is equal to 48. Let us start multiplying this. x into 16, 16 x plus into minus minus x into x, x square minus 16 4 sa 64 minus into minus plus 4 into x, 4 x is equal to 48. Right? Now this one. 16x plus 4x will be 20x minus x square plus 20x minus 64 minus 48 equal to 0. Minus x square plus 20x minus 64 minus 48. Please add here 8 plus 4 it will be 12 and 6 plus 4 10, 10 plus 1 11. Minus 112 equal to 0. Remove minus common and then send other side. That will be x square minus 20x plus 112 equal to 0. Write this equation here. x square minus 20x plus 112 equal to 0. If you want, you can factorize this children or you can go with the formula, any method you choose. Let me go with the factorization method, split method. 112, 112 do LCM, 2 5 sa, 2 6 sa, 2 2 sa, then again 2 8 sa, 2 14 sa, 2 7 sa. Now you should get 20, 2 2 sa, 4, 4 2 sa, 8. 7 2 is 14. 14 plus 8, do you get 20? No, 22 it become. Then what we can see here? 2 2 is 4, 4 2 is 8, 8 2 is 16. 16 and 7, are you getting? No. So I have done LCM here and I have seen all the factors. So is there any possible factor here? 14 and 8, you won't get 20 and 256, you won't get 28, 4, you won't get. So, whatever I do, I am not getting the factors. Then this is the situation where we use formula method. Right? Some quadratic equations, we won't get any factors. At that time, we choose formula method to solve this. Compare the given quadratic equation with the standard form. What is the standard form? x square plus bx plus c equal to 0. A equal to 1, B equal to minus 20, C equal to 112. We know formula. What is that? X is equal to minus B plus or minus root B square minus 4AC by 2A. X is equal to, yeah, B value is minus 20. Minus of minus 20 plus or minus square root of 
minus 20 whole square minus 4 into 1 into 112 whole divided by 2 into 1 minus into minus plus 20 plus or minus root of minus into minus plus 20 20 is a 400 minus 112 4 is a 448 whole divided by 2 that will be 20 plus or minus root of minus 48 immediately you can stop your problem why in root you got a negative value if you get any negative value inside the root then it is undefined therefore what you can say this quadratic equation has no roots has no real roots something as there what is that is the following situation possible no no this situation is not possible no the situation is not possible when it is possible children when it is having roots are equal or they are distinct if you get then the situation is possible let's see the last problem of this chapter that is your fifth problem is it possible to design a rectangular park of perimeter 80 meters and area 400 meters square if so find its length and breadth so what they have given in this problem they have given perimeter 80 meter and area 400 meter square we don't know length we don't know breadth what we need to find if this problem is possible find its length and breadth okay let us draw a rectangular park length breadth okay let the length of a rectangular park be x i don't know length and breadth so any one side i assume it as x they did not give sum of length and breadth is equal to so and so they did not give so only one dimension i am going to take it as x and next given perimeter of rectangular park is equal to 80 meters what is perimeter of a rectangle perimeter of a rectangle means sum of all sides l plus b plus l plus b what is the formula 2 times l plus b is equal to 80 multiple to send that side l plus b is equal to 80 by 2 that will be 40 l plus b is equal to 40 length already we have assumed it as x x plus b is equal to 40 b is equal to 40 minus x understand the problem carefully we assumed length is equal to x now what we got breadth is equal to 40 minus x if you want you can write here separately 40 minus x and what does we know we know the area of this rectangular path. What is area of a rectangle formula children? Length into breadth. Area of given area of rectangular path is equal to 400 meter square. Area of a rectangle formula L into B equal to 400. We have assumed L is equal to X. And we got B is equal to 40 minus X is equal to 400. Multiply this. 40X minus X square is equal to 400. Send other side. That will be X square minus 40X plus 400. Any time reverse this. X square minus 40X plus 400 is equal to 0. Now this quadratic equation we need to find the roots. Whichever method you want you can do children. I go with the factorization method. 1 into 400. 400. 400 what are the factors? 20, 20 is 400. 20 plus 20 it will be 40 you are going to get. But minus 40. How can you get minus 20? Minus 20 will become minus 40. Split the middle term. 
x square minus 20x minus 20x plus 400 equal to 0. Take out common x is common in these two. x minus 20 and in these two 20 is common. x minus 20 equal to 0. x minus 20 into x minus 20 equal to 0 x minus 20 equal to 0 or x minus 20 equal to 0. Send this minus 20 other side. x is equal to 20 or same, you are going to get same two roots are equal. x equal to 20 or x equal to 20. What is this x? It is length. Therefore, this problem is possible and length Length of rectangular rectangular park is equal to x is equal to 20 meters. And what is the breadth? Breadth of rectangular park. You can write same. Is equal to what is the breadth children? 40 minus x. That will be 40 minus 20 is equal to 20 meters. So therefore, is this possible? Yes, it is possible. With the two dimension, length is equal to 20 meters and breadth is also equal to 20 meters. 20 meters. With this, we are going to end our session today, children. With this, we are going to complete quadratic equations chapter. Children, always check the description box for other videos of this chapter. Not only this chapter, other chapters playlist is also uploaded in your description box. Go through that description box children where you can see all chapters of your SSLC playlist. If any playlist if you open you can see all part wise. So have a thorough practice and all the best for your exams children. In our next session we are going to continue with the new chapter. Until that keep watching. Thank you all. Oh,